welcome back. So it's time for the weekly update where we just talk a little bit about how things have went on Happy Humble Home. We're finishing up the last week of April, which means we're starting the first week of May, which means it is our final month in school, in homeschooling. I cannot believe it has already been an entire school year semester, not just the semester, but the entire school year rather. And y'all, it has been such a blessing. It, it truly has been a blessing to be able to take our kids' education back into our own hands. And as always, if y'all have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out, comment, ask questions, whatever. We're pretty much open book, so we'll answer any and all questions that we can. And it's just been something that's been very, that we've been very, very grateful for. Um, I'm thankful for. And it helps that the boys enjoy it because it's always easier when, it's always easier to make a transition when it's an enjoyable one instead of trying to get them to like pulling teeth to do their schoolwork. Yes, there's days that it's a rough day or it's been a little bit more of a struggle, but that's that's just part of it. Um, at this point, the only curriculum that we have finished up is Nicholas has finished up his third grade math. And since we're not done with the actual school semester yet, I'm going to have him, I've been pulling review from a fifth grade math book. So that way he can go over concepts such as rounding and learning new concepts like they're quick and easy to learn for him and still reviewing kind of what he's learned just to reiterate and not just you're done with the book and we're done so we've been pull i've been pulling kind of harder math reviews for him that he can still do um the uh if i've mentioned in my fifth and third grade curriculum mag um not magazine video that they have been reading nicholas has been reading the rest review for part of his social studies there is five books and at the end of our school year he will have completed three and be a couple probably about maybe a fifth of the way a fifth or fourth of the way through book four so if you're wanting to integrate that that's kind of how it's set up we've been doing basically one chapter each week and at the on friday he has his weekly quiz that again, if you watch that video, you can, I'll put the link up there. You can watch that video and see where I got the quizzes for those particular books. Um, it's been, it's been a really good week. It's been a really good school year. We're getting ready for, to get all the curriculum. Like I mentioned before, my goal is to have all the curriculum in hand by early to mid July, no later than mid July. That is kind of my goal. And so that way we can hit the ground running when we're ready in August. Um, we did not, if you watched the video last week, you know that we was hoping to get the dirt for our raised vegetable beds. We was not able to get it. It rained a couple, it rained a little bit bef the day before we went it. was hoping to go get it and then it rained the day after. So where we was getting the dirt from, it didn't have time to dry out before we can go get it which was kind of upsetting, but it'll be okay because we still have enough time. I think we should be good to plant what we want and still get a good harvest, or at least that's the hope. But, and also my taters are doing much better since I did put them in that um, tater stand that my husband built. It has done well. I think it's really helped them not them drain better. So I think that might've been what the wilting was. Um, we'll see. Hopefully it didn't do any damage if it was holding, if they was holding too much water. I'm afraid they might be, have some wet rot, but time will tell and hopefully not. Fingers crossed that they don't. And we'll go from there. If they do. Um, Bible drills ended this past week. So we're, we're done with Bible drills for the season. That won't open. And that will not start back until... August because it typically follows your most of your school semesters from August to April and May typically. So that's ended and ball, ball and soccer is still in full swing. Work is still in full swing. So, but it'll all be wrapping up pretty soon because at the end of the month we'll be done with school. At the end of the month baseball will be over. At the end of the month concessions will be over and at the end of the month soccer will be over. So pretty much then we'll jump into the whole vacation Bible schools, vacations, 
the summer activities that inevitably blink and you're and they're gone and next thing you know it'll be summer or not summer but yeah it will be school semester there you go that's why i was trying to the school year and like i said i will still be doing videos that pertain to getting ready for the coming school year in the future so just keep an eye out for that videos i also have a really good video that has two certain a third and a fifth grader in it that they're going to be doing a review product on a review pro a review on a product there we go so i don't want to spoil give too many spoilers away but that video is coming up soon we also hope to be doing more of the backpacking with summer here and yeah that's pretty much been this week in a nutshell it's been either school work or rain pretty much so i hope y'all have had a good week and as always if y'all have any comments or questions please don't hesitate to reach out to me i love to hear from y'all and get to know y'all so